Next time you go to the grocery store or the department store, would you like to pay for those plastic bags on the way out? A bag fee is one of the ideas being proposed to help the environment. Money editor John Delano spoke to the men behind him. Remember these iconic lines with Dustin Hoffman in The Graduate? Are you listening? Just so you. Plastics. Exactly how do you mean? There's a great future in plastics. Maybe a future back in 1968, but today we are awash in plastic, especially plastic bags at almost every checkout counter, causing a trash buildup, say some. The key to this accumulation of trash is one of the main culprits, which is the plastic bag. It's become sort of like a modern day tumbleweed. We gotta eradicate it, we gotta fix it. Through FaceTime, I caught up with two Philadelphia State Representatives, Jared Solomon and Brian Sims, who have introduced a bill to take on plastic bags. The bill, in short, is about reducing the, the trash that litters our streets from single-use plastic bags. Um, I've introduced a bill along with my colleague here in Philadelphia, Jared Solomon, that calls for a two-cent tax on single-use plastic bags. The two cent fee would apply to plastic bags from only those stores with more than a million dollars in annual sales, not the mom and pop stores. I would, uh, I'd be all for using paper if that's what, uh, that's what the cause is all about. At two cents a bag, these three bags would cost about six cents. And nobody we talked to seemed too concerned about that price. In fact, some thought this really would encourage people to recycle using their own bags instead. A little ridiculous for the environment using plastic bags like that, but I usually use reusable bags. So you normally are environmentally conscious anyways? I try to be, yeah. If approved, one penny goes back to the store to help them buy paper bags, and the other penny goes back to the state for recycling programs. We're putting that back into businesses, back into communities, and ensuring that our communities are clean. John Delano, KDKA News.